Okay, let's do the conversion for the first one, decimal number system to binary number system. So let's take a number as 37. So since this is base 10, we need to convert it to binary number. So binary number will have base 2 because of 0 and 1. So let's see how we need to convert it. 37, we'll divide it by 2. We need to write the quotient over here and remainder over here. So if we divide 37 by 18, then we get a remainder as 1. And then again, if we will keep on repeating this process till we get 1. So again, if we divide 18 by 2, we'll get 9 with a remainder 0. Then again, if we do it the same thing, so we'll get 4 with remainder 1. Now 2, 2 with the remainder 0 and then final 1 with a remainder 0. Now we can see that this thing has already been converted. Now how do we write the thing? We write it from the reverse order. So we'll take 1 first, then then 0, then this 0, then this 1, then this 0 and then this 1. So the base was 2, so we'll write 2. So this is binary equivalent of this decimal number. I'll explain the process once again how we did. The number we always divide it by 2. Why? Because the base of a binary number always 2. When you divide the number of 2, you get two things. One is the quotient and another one is the remainder. So the quotient will be written over here and the remainder over here. We'll keep on repeating this process till we get a 1 over here. And then we write it from the end and then we go up till the number. Okay, let us take one more example. Suppose there is one more number, 98. The base is 10 and we need to convert it to a binary number. So we, as we know the process, we'll write down the number, we'll divide it by 2. So we get a quotient, 49, and then we get a remainder as 0. Again, if we divide the same thing, we'll get 2, we'll get 24 with a remainder 1. We Again, if we divide it by 2, we'll get 12 with a remainder 0. We divide it by 2, we get 6, remainder 0. And then again, if we divide by 2, we get 3 with a remainder 0. And then if we divide it by 2, we get 1 with a remainder 1. So now we will go from the bottom and then we go up. So 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 is the binary equivalent of 98 decimal.